Our next step in the assembly of the eBay is to figure out how to mount these tubes onto the sled. Now this is very critical. Um, one thing is that they have to hang over the edge a little bit as we said before. Um, and then also there's two of them and they have to be exactly parallel. Um, and then also they can't be canted. Um, otherwise that threaded rod won't go through the middle. So I was trying to figure out is there an easy way to do this and unfortunately what I've come up with is no. The, if these aren't the right distance apart or if they're crooked these threaded rods aren't going to go through and the only way to salvage that is to take these holes in to make them bigger and bigger and bigger until things start to fit together and I don't want to do that um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a template, like we made a template for the bulkheads. Um, so we have to measure everything and that's why I got the computer out here again because we're going to measure and we're going to design and I'm going to take you through my design process at the same time. Whoa! Okay, so um, the first thing I want to do is to measure the length of this tube. I want to never assume anything is the exact length. Um, so this tube is six inches long, which is good. And we've already measured the diameters of it um, that we had previously. So I don't need to measure that. Um, but what I do need to measure is the, um, on this bulkhead, it's going to take up some room on the inside. You can see it's two pieces that are glued together. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So it's kind of like this. We have um, a large piece and a smaller piece and the smaller piece goes inside the tube and the large piece keeps it from going all the way in. Um, so I need to know what that thickness of that inside disc is. And so I got the caliper out and I'm going to measure that. And this is hard to measure. I got a, I'm measuring on just the edge. And I'm going to call it 0 .086 inches. So I'm going to draw a rectangle on my computer. And I need to get some diameter, so I'm going to bring up this screen too, and I can measure the exact diameter because I measured that before. And it's showing me it's point or 2.481 inches in diameter. So my rectangle is going to be. Um, a height of 2.481 inches and the length, I'm going to start out with a length of 6 inches. Okay, so you can see that here on the screen. Um, and then I want to subtract out that disc on both sides. So it's 0.087 so I'm going to draw another rectangle, 0.087 inches wide, the same width. You got to type the number right. Okay, so there it is. And I want to align this with the edge of the tube. So I'll just grab those two and then hit left justify. And then I want to duplicate it to the other side. So I duplicated it and then um, right justify. And you'll see it's here on the edge of this thing. Okay, so now that's the whole inside volume that I have to work with. Now I want to draw this sled here and again we need to measure it. So I'm getting a width of 2.365 inches. So I'm going to draw another rectangle 2.365 inches wide. And then the length is this length. And that's 4.887 inches. Okay. 
Okay, and I got it. I have to spin it around here. Okay, so and then I want to center it right in the middle of this tube. Okay, so that's centered. So that is the start of my template. Now, I want to go back to my bulkhead disk and I want to know the distance apart those two holes are. And here's my pattern right here. And so I want to know from that center to that center. So I'm just going to take this line here and I'm just going to shrink it down until I get it the right length and then I'll just read off what that length is. And uh, according to right up here in the corner, I got 1.44 inches. So then I'm going to go back to my template here and I'm going to draw another box. And this one's going to be 1.44 inches wide. And then I'm going to bring that up into this box and it's going to find the center right there. So now the edges right here are going to be the center lines of the all threads. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to just draw these lines in here. So that's the center of my all thread. And then I'm going to duplicate that and bring it down here. So there's the other all thread. Then I'm just going to get rid of this box in the middle because it's kind of confusing things. So now I want to know the diameter of this little metal tube because I want to draw that in there too. So that's 0.268 inches. So another rectangle. I'm going to just draw it on this line right here. And I need to know the length. That's 2.09 inches long. When I say that was 0 0.26. 2.6, I forgot that one. 0.267. And the length is 2.09. Okay. Okay, so I'm assuming these are all the same length, so let me get them here. Never assume anything. So if I'm looking at that, they're all pretty close, so I can live with that. Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate this, and this represents my tube. Okay, so now this inside box right here represents the sled and I'll, I'll change the color of it. Okay, and then these right here are the tubes. And I'm going to change the color of those. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this out and then I'm going to cut out this, this green square and then I'm going to paste it on top of my sled and I'm going to use that um, 3M spray mount again, that adhesive spray so that it just it's on there just lightly. Um, and I also want to cut out these tubes so that it leaves me um, a blank space on the sled and you'll see that after I go ahead and do it. And that's going to give me a place where I can glue them right into place and this is going to be pretty close and we're going to cross our fingers that there's no slop in them that they're crooked. But at least they'll be the right distances apart to match the holes and the discs. So I'll go ahead and print that out and then we'll be right back.